So yet again, another Mercury Retrograde is here. And Mercury Retrograde is known for stirring up shit in your life and bringing out deep-rooted feelings. And usually a lot of us kind of are like, ugh, like, when is it over? I dread this. But I was like, let me look at it in a positive light. This time can be used for a lot of healing, especially inner child healing, which I believe every single person needs to do. Because a lot of the problems and difficulties we face in our current now is from things that we haven't addressed from our childhood. And you may ask, how do I heal my inner child? There are a lot of different ways to do that, but right now, I am currently using this interactive journal called Dear Me, Love Letters to My Inner Child. And inside the journal, I basically ask interactive questions like, As a child, I would daydream about, and then some signs of a wounded inner child. As you can see, just a lot of interactive questions. So today, I decided to answer, Loving Myself Feels Like. And it's important to love yourself and give yourself the things that you didn't receive as a child. So I said, Loving Myself Feels Like. Listening to my favorite song. Wearing clothes I feel confident in, doing things without fear of judgment, expressing myself through art, looking in the mirror and saying I love you, eating my favorite foods, taking time for myself, looking at the clouds, I love the clouds, riding my bike, surrounding myself with people I know, love and respect me, setting boundaries and staying true to myself. And I just love these questions because it's questions that we don't ever really ask ourselves and it forces us to think and helps us realize where our problem areas within us are. You can find this lovely interactive journal on Amazon. It's called Dear Me, Love Letters to My Inner Child by Bernice Ango. And I would highly recommend getting one and starting to work on healing your inner child.